boy, it's the best day of the year. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. I'm helping Santa deliver some gifts to all the people in the neighborhood. We have a lot of houses to deliver to. And this is the first one now. Let's see who lives here, Santa. Hello? Anyone home? Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> who is it? Oh no, not you again, Ellie Sparkles. I'm busy. I can't come out right now. I got more science experiments to do. But Merry Christmas, Dr. Science. Whoa, is that really Santa Claus? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, and guess what? We are delivering gifts to every single person on the neighborhood. <laughs> and you get a gift too. Oh, wow. Let's see what I got. <gasps> oh my gosh. A real science microscope? Thanks, Santa. I'm gonna do so many science experiments with this. Okay, now that I have this gift, where's the rest of my gifts? More gifts, more gifts, more gifts, more gifts. More gifts, Dr. Science? Um, Santa only has enough room in his bag for one gift per boy and girl on the block. And we still have a lot of houses to visit, so we gotta go. Bye, Dr. Science. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Since Santa has so many houses to get to this year, we're gonna spin the giant Christmas wheel to see who we go see next. Ready? One, two, three, spin! <laughs> it landed on the police officer. Awesome! Police officers are so brave, and I know one that lives right over there, so let's go! So Santa wants to give me one gift for Christmas this year? Well, I'll show him I have the perfect idea. All I have to do is drink my secret Dr. Science potion, and I can turn to anyone on his list. Here I go. Oh, I got my... It worked, it worked. I turned into a real police officer. Now Ellie and Santa will never know it's me. Ooh, they must be here already. I have to act like a police officer. Quick, what do police officers do? Oh, I got my... <laughs> ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Hi, Mr. Police Officer. <laughs> we finally made it. Oh, is it Christmas already? I totally forgot about that. What are you up to? Oh, you know, I'm just doing regular police work. Putting out fires? And you're not even wearing the right hat. You wear your fireman's hat. That's a little bit strange to me. Oh wait, I know. You're a police officer and a fireman, aren't you? That makes you extra, extra brave. And because you've been saving lots and lots of people this year, <laughs> you get a gift. It's a police hat? What am I going to do with a hat? Put it on, silly. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. There we go. Now you can wear the right hat when you're doing your police work. All right, we got to go deliver some more presents. Let's go, Santa. Bye, Mr. Police and Fireman. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Great. What am I supposed to do with the police hat? I don't want one of these for Christmas. I'm so excited to spin the giant Christmas wheel again. Ready? One, two, three, giant spin. <laughs> Amazing! It landed on the lifeguard. Come on, Santa. Let's go to the pool and give them their present. So Emily and Santa are coming to visit the lifeguard? Guess I have to use my Dr. Science potion again. Oh, I got my... <laughs> oh, I got my... <laughs> cool. It worked! It worked! I'm a real lifeguard! Ellie and Santa will never know that it's really me! Ho, ho, ho! Hey! 
Did you hear that? They lost me here. Oh man, I gotta act like a lifeguard. Quick, what do lifeguards do? Oh, Mr. Lifeguard! Mr. Lifeguard? We're here with your present. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Lifeguard! Where are you? Hi there, Mr. Lifeguard. Hey, what are you up to? Oh, hi, Santa. Hi, Ellie. I wasn't expecting you here. <laughs> I'm just doing regular lifeguard things. Like fishing in a pool during winter? <laughs> That's really weird. But wait, I forget. You're the silliest lifeguard ever. <laughs> You're so funny. Anyway, since you've been teaching all the boys and girls how to swim all year, we got you a present. Oh boy, a present? I wasn't expecting this. Let's see what I got. <gasps> sunglasses? Huh? Yeah, sunglasses. Lifeguards always need a trusty pair of sunglasses to keep the sun away from their eyes. I'm so glad you like it. We're gonna go to the other houses now and drop off more gifts. Bye, Mr. Lifeguard! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! Sunglasses? I didn't want sunglasses for Christmas! <sighs> Great! Now I'm just gonna have to trick Ellie and Santa again. <laughs> Are you ready to spin for a third time? <laughs> Three, two, one, spin! <laughs> Fantastic! It landed on Mrs. Claus. That's perfect, Santa. We can go back home, give Mrs. Claus her present, and eat some of her yummy Christmas cookies. <laughs> Let's go! Ooh, I have just a amount of potion left. Oh, I got it! Yes, it worked. I know Santa left Mrs. Claus the best gift of all. And it's gonna be all mine. Oh, I don't know. Mrs. Claus, are you in here? <laughs> I, yes, I'm in the kitchen. <laughs> there you are. Me and Santa were so excited to get back to give you your present. We know you've been working really, really hard with Santa to make all the presents for the boys and girls at home. <laughs> oh wait, what is that lovely smell? It smells amazing. Are you baking your famous Christmas cookies again? Uh, Can we and Santa have one? Well, cookies? Um, uh, yes, uh, they should be around here somewhere. Uh, where did I put them? They should be around here somewhere. Uh, Mrs. Claus, maybe they're in the oven? Oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Your cookies are in the oven. I found the cookies. Now can I have my Christmas gift? Wait a second. What's wrong with your hair? Plan. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Can you believe it, Santa? Dr. Science has been tricking us all day, hasn't he? He's so silly. <laughs> but at least he gave us some yummy Christmas cookies. Excuse me, are you one of my tour guides? Tour guide? Ha 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 ha. I'm not a tour guide, I'm Dr. Science the world's number one nature scientist. A nature scientist? Wow, that sounds so cool. That's right, I know everything there is to know about nature. Here, I'll give you one right now. Did you know that those clouds in the sky are really ice cream? Oh, vanilla ice cream? Oh, I want some. That doesn't sound right to me, Dr. Science. <laughs> Did you hear that? That animal sound sounded really familiar. Quick, 
Follow me! Wow! <laughs> Look, boys and girls! <laughs> I thought I heard a hoot hoot! Do you know what animal goes hoot hoot? Hoo hoo! That's right! It's an owl! <laughs> and this is Gus! I'm so excited to learn way more about you! <laughs> Did you know that owls have big long trunks? And they eat peanuts too? Oh yeah, oh yeah! And they like to pull Santa's sled during Christmas time! Yeah, that's an owl, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Look, this is Emily. She's a nature guide, and she knows so much about nature and animals, unlike Dr. Science. So I have a few questions, Emily. Why do owls have such big eyes anyway? Well, they need those big eyes to collect as much light as they can because they are active at nighttime when the sun is not up. At nighttime? Awesome! So when I'm asleep, you're out there trying to get some food, huh, Gus? <laughs> Gus, you're so cool! What other cool things can you do? Well, he's very good at camouflaging. Ooh! Can I see that? Sure. Gus, where are you? Where'd you go? My friend Carl found a very cute, fuzzy critter for you. I love fuzzy critters. Let's go find Carl. Hi, you must be my nature guide, Carl. I'm Ellie, and Emily said you had something fuzzy for me to look at. I do, Ellie. I have a woolly bear. A woolly bear? That doesn't look like a bear to me. I need to know all about it. Did you know that woolly bears live in the forest? And they're really, really big and furry. Oh yeah, and their favorite fruits are gummy bears and big jars of honey. That's a woolly bear, right? I don't think so, Dr. Science. Woolly bears are so tiny. They can't eat a whole jar of honey. <laughs> That's so silly. Tell me more about woolly bears. Actually, it's a caterpillar and it's going to become an Isabella moth. An Isabella moth? What a pretty name, right, boys and girls? Do they sleep like bears? Well, they do, actually. These guys right now are looking for a place to sleep all winter long, and then in April or May, she's actually going to make a cocoon and then turn into an Isabella moth. Awesome! Can I touch her? Sure can. She's a... <gasps> wow! She's super soft. Yeah, so it's not a bear, it's actually an insect. I have more insects over at the pond. You wanna go see? Yes, absolutely. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what a pretty pond. Are we gonna go swimming? Whoa, is that a swimming pool? I'm all ready to go. I got my floaty, my goggles, and I'm ready to jump in. Let's do some cannonballs. Not today, but I do have a dip net, and I'm gonna grab some material from the pond right here. You wanna see if we can find some critters? Yeah! Oh, I think we got something good in here. Let's go put it in the tray. Come on. Look, it's a cute little tadpole. Do you know what tadpoles grow up to be? That's right, frogs. Ribbit. This is called a newt. We found him in the water. How cool is that? He has four legs. One, two, three, four. Carl just told me this is a baby dragonfly. I've only seen dragonflies when they're big and flying in the air. I didn't even know they lived in the water. Wow, a snail. He's curled up into a little ball. Don't worry, little snail. I'm your friend. Yes! Oh, we're in luck. Look at this. <gasps> Do you know what this is? I've seen one of those before. It looks really funny. It's a praying mantis, isn't it? It is a praying mantis. But why is it called a praying mantis? Well, that's funny. Some people say because when their arms are together, they look like they're praying. But it's actually for catching other prey. They use those feet to catch <laughs> bugs. They love to eat bugs. 
Is that why they have big eyes too, so they can see the bugs? Yeah, she actually has really big eyes. And if you notice, she can turn her head from side to side looking for her food. That's awesome! <laughs> How do you know it's a she? Oh, good question. Well, because she's really big, most of the boy praying mantises are much smaller. <laughs> you want to hold it? Yeah! Here. Let's put her over there. It's like a playground for praying mantises. Yes! Here we go. <laughs> Hello. I found you a new home. On this leaf right here. Oh, not on me. I know. Here we go. Whoa, boys and girls, can you find the praying mantis? Yes! She's super camouflaged. All right. Oh, I see Emily. You think this is cool? She's got a reptile I think you're really gonna like. A reptile? Oh, I can't wait to see. Come on. Let's go see Emily. <laughs> Carl said Emily had a reptile for me to see. I wonder what it is. There she is. Hi, Emily. Hi, Ellie. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, this is Kevin. He's a black rat snake. <gasps> Did you know that snakes go ribbit, 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 and they sit on lily pads and they eat flies? Oh yeah, and they have a really long tongue too. So they go like this. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Snakes don't sit on lily pads, Dr. Science. They're so silly. But they do have long tongues. Why do they have long tongues, Emily? Well, they don't just have long tongues. They have tongues that split into two. So they can smell this direction, and they can smell this direction, and they can find out where things are. Awesome, that's so cool, Kevin. <laughs> they must smell a lot of food. What do they eat? They like to eat mice and rats and anything little that they can find, but mostly just meat. Mice and rats? Oh my goodness, do they eat every day? Not every day. Sometimes they eat once a week, sometimes they eat even less. <gasps> I can't even imagine having only one meal a week. <laughs> I love food too much. <laughs> hey, Kevin, let's have a staring contest. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Hey, wait a second. You're cheating. You don't have any eyelids. <laughs> Snakes could be so cool. Carl and Emily sure do know a lot about the nature at the museum. What great nature guides. <laughs> yes! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Speaking of nature guides, I have one more nature fact for you. Remember, be nice to all animals. Animals live on the earth just like me and you. <laughs> I actually agree with you there, Dr. Science. Oh, you should have seen the owl. It was so cute. It had big eyes, and he could see in the dark and find food. Oh, and there's the woolly bear who's so fuzzy, and it's actually a caterpillar, and it turns into a moth, not a butterfly. Oh, and there was also a tadpole, and I knew he was kind of slimy.